Since I know that uh, this topic maybe, you know, leave you like uncertain, you know, how to imagine the three-dimensional time, I just uh, would like to provide like a simple experiment. You can just put uh, your hand like in front of you, like to the left. Yeah, why don't we all do it, right? So, and now we, we can just slowly move it from the left to the right, right? So if we move it from the left to the right, this is the time dimension that we are familiar with, right? That's how we imagine the time as a, like a linear scale. Now we will try to uh, add like a second uh, like a dimension. And so what we do, we'll start again moving, but in this case, we'll start to do like a sinusoidal motion, right? So we are still moving right from left to the right, but in this case, we are adding like another like a degree of motion. So that's like uh, imagining that there's actually a second uh, dimension. And now, uh, what do we do to add the third, uh, like a dimension of this time, right? Because we already know this is a linear, right? Now we are adding a second, like a degree. And the third would be that uh, while we are moving our hand from left, that you start to rotate your wrist like this. So you rotate up and rotate down and up and down. And so now you can see that now we have like a three, like a different, like a motion. So this could be like an analogy, how you could imagine all these, like a three different dimension of time and how you could try to navigate through that time.